Hi all, if you're just joining us, welcome. If you're joining us from another video, welcome back. We had a blind box, or should I say blind tins, of 30 of them of the Uglies Pet Shop. Two pets per tin, there's 101 to collect, with the ultra rare being the sticky pets. Um, these are a new series out by Moose and we started to collect them because we have a lot of Littlest Pet Shops and we thought they were quite funny to have their boy version. <laughs> I shouldn't really say that but the boy version, the ugliest pet shops. So um, my son loves collecting the buying boxes. They, you're welcome to read our profile as to why we collect them and what they're used for. These were from his birthday, so he got to open the entire box. Now, on this tray, I have the ones we already have. Now, we haven't actually brought a lot of Ugliest Pet Shop. And I think we've brought like two 12 packs and a couple of twin tins so I wasn't actually expecting to get many double ups but there was a heap of double ups and these are the ones we actually needed so there is still a fair chunk we didn't have over here um, I was actually surprised at the amount of ultra rare double ups we got because we've already had a heap of ultra rare double ups from other ones I'm just speaking for myself, I don't know how other mothers feel about this, but I actually don't like the ultra rares. I don't like something that once you take it out of its packet, it is pretty much a lost cause because it touches anything and it gets fluffy and manky and it looks like something that the cat threw up. So we have made a rule in our house that these are not to come out of their packets, which is actually fine because of my son, his sensory issues. He actually doesn't like playing with them anyway. So we're hoping in series two, they do something like the Shopkins where they just make them sparkle or look a little different. Maybe have a metallic finish or something like that. Like we quite like these ones, these are neat. The commons and the rares are really neat, but these things, no, I don't I don't think I'll go for these things again because they are unplayable with. And if you do play with them, the ones that he has had, we've just thrown out because they become fuzz covered balls. <clears throat> so quite a lot of them uh I actually think quite a few of them are, are quite cute. They might be ugly, but they are actually quite cute. I'll try and get it so I can zoom up on a few of them. Excuse my shaky hands on the camera. These one with the balls in the mouth, I actually think they look quite eager. Like they're ready to play, they're ready to go. The horrid hamsters, uh, <laughs> their eyes are, are crazy, but I actually quite like those too. Um, the whippet, looks like he's had an accident. But he's not too bad. Now there are ones which I think just completely gross me out. This one here. I don't know whether it's the purple face or the vomit or or the fact that its head looks gigantic. I don't I don't know, but that one is pretty gross. My kids don't get that this is part of the breed, so they actually think its brain is on its head. I've tried to explain that it's its hairdo, but they think it's its brain tripping out its head and covering up its eyes. I don't, the crab is, uh, the crab is without a doubt ugly, so. Well, we'll look over at the ones we didn't have. Um, of the ultra rares we didn't have, and this is just to show how common the ultra rares have. As I said, we haven't actually brought many of these at all. And the ultra rares we didn't have, we only got two out of the entire box. We got a heap we already have, and we haven't actually brought that much. I think we have more ultra rares than we have commons and rares. That is how bad it is. We have not got one spider or, um, what's another one? 
We didn't have any of the corgis till the box. I mean, I don't know if this is common for anyone else. I think we almost have every single ultra rare. Yeah, we almost have every single ultra rare, yet we are missing a ton of the commons and the rares. We didn't have these three, so we're quite happy we got these three. They are really cute. I don't, I don't think they're ugly. I think they're cute. Uh, I'm not sure why there's two red funky frogs, but uh, I might put one back over here. You can go over there, mate. We've got you now. My son might have changed him over. My daughter took um, two common ones we already had from over here, so there's another two commons that are missing from the pile. Yeah, we, we like them, and we hope to keep collecting them. We just hope that they change the way the ultra rares are. I know my sister actually collects them as well, and she felt exactly the same way I did, that the ultra rares were just... The idea was neat, and when we first got them, we thought that's such a neat idea for the boys, but when they had a few of them out, and the pet fur collected on them, and the carpet collected on them, we just weren't very happy. But um, we do like these ones. These are cute, so they are worth collecting if you don't care about the ultra rares. Just go for the commons and the rares, and let the kids have them. Thanks very much for watching. If you... We do a lot of blind um, box opening. I'm in no way a professional. <laughs> uh, if you want to watch some more videos on the opening of the houses or Shopkins, go to my profile and have a look. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.